Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's time for me to get the uh, blackberries and some of the other fruit bushes uh, pruned back. Uh, like a lot of um, fruit bushes and canes etc, we need to look uh, for the older wood. As you can see there in the middle of the picture, that's gone really black and uh, it's visibly uh, not going to produce anything this one will probably one we'll be doing uh, next year and uh, that one there was probably uh, last year's or uh, the years before but we've got lots and lots of uh, material coming from the bottom we need to tie that one in and uh, if we uh, cut them off there then they'll branch out so you just need to uh, keep on top of your game as you can see there some more uh, some more dead so we'll cut some of this out and have a look see what we've got I also need to get rid of these uh, perennial weeds dig them out uh, properly but getting all this dead out again we're looking for all the uh, the darker stems to give the rest of it uh, room to grow. So that's the blackberries, let's crack on, see what we get out of it. Just a few things you need today, uh, some uh, gloves, I'm using the Cool Job uh, bamboo touchscreen gloves today, uh, a nice sharp pair of uh, secateurs for the smaller stuff and then for the uh, bigger stuff uh, we'll go with the, uh, the loppers. A little bit of pause and record whether you'll see any difference or not, I don't know. So there's a fair bit uh, come out, I'm not sure whether you can see that uh, with the sunshine. But uh, it's quite a bit of a pile and uh, when you get used to where the uh, buds start to uh, come out you'll know roughly where you prune I've been trying to take some of these out where uh, the berries were last year and some of these older ones and then all these uh, long dangly bits I'll try and tie them in before uh, they get bashed too much and you don't want to try and get too close to uh, the new growth uh, because eventually uh, the ones that were done previously will uh, will just break off anyway. Very similar to the uh, autumn fruit in uh, raspberries. So we're in now with the currants. So that's black, red, and white, which I've got. And these straps are there to support the canes. So last year I was very cautious as to what I cut out, so I could go vertical so I didn't lose too much fruit now we've got quite a few of the canes going vertical I can be a little bit more brutal uh, towards the bottom cutting out some of the new and old wood again you're looking for the real dark wood and a lot of it's covered in mold uh, moss should we say at the moment because of the weather we've been having but Let's have a little hack and cut at this and see if we can get some shape vertical wise instead of uh, bush and uh, making it round because I do like to be able to walk in between uh, all the, uh, the canes. Now I've got uh, quite a bit out. Uh, of, uh, I don't know whether you can see that or not but that's still holding on but that will probably come out next year so will this one and hopefully all this uh, new stuff uh, will be encouraged to go uphill so we've cut out bits and bobs here and up the top I've been cutting uh, just above a bud that's inward facing just to encourage uh, uh, upward growth and uh, we're supposed to cut out anything that's crisscrossing but I'm doing a little bit each year 
just to ensure I get at least a, a crop. But overall, that looks uh, a lot better, and so much better than previous years when they were halfway out uh, into the paths. Uh, I'll do it nice and steady, so I'll crack on with the rest of the uh, current bushes, and uh, we'll be doing the uh, gooseberry pruning in another video, where I'll be trying out the uh, cool job um, thorn gloves are supposed to protect you from the thorns. We shall see. Well, that wasn't easy, especially when you're trying to uh, create uh, something different. We'll see how the uh, fruit bushes uh, do over the summer. I do like pruning the uh, black currants because they've got that natural smell. That's how you know they're uh, black currants. There's the red currants. Just need to tie that one in. And one of the newer plants from a cutting. I'll say a cutting. Pop a, you can literally just take one of those, cut it off about six, eight inches long and pop it in the ground. If you do about 10, you'll probably get uh, about 40% uh, germination. But that one uh, did really well. As they grow, I've got to remember to put them that side the straps. But pleased with that. Tackling the gooseberries is going to be another challenge. Need to open it up because we need to get the gooseberries that are right in the middle. So hopefully the gloves that uh, Cool Job sent me uh, work. They're a little bit small, but they'll be probably given. Uh, they'll be in a, a raffle. Uh, because they're just a, a size too small. But uh, hopefully they'll be okay and we can always do a little bit more pruning every so often as they grow to ensure we can get at all the crop. These are all tied in now. These posts uh, do need a little bit more help. Uh, I think it's the middle one that does tend to uh, blow over, but as you can see, we've had a tidy up and uh, we've mulched it all up with the uh, compost that we find that's unscrupulously dumped by the cannabis growers. And I'll put those cloth pots down in the shared area on our allotment site. And uh, they always seem to disappear, especially because they're nearly eight pounds each to buy new I've got uh, six pots there left I think they're smaller pots than those others but they only use them once these are 25 litre so there's probably 20 litres uh, in those and uh, they do make uh, for a nice bit of mulching please remember thumbs up thumbs down for the interaction please leave me a comment and why not consider subscribing happy gardening to you all till next time my friends try for now